Hey gang, it's Zippo. Um, I've watched a bunch of reviews on different camping axes, uh, lightweight Gerbers, uh, Smith and Wesson, just all uh, Cold Steel, Kershaw, everybody that's uh, jumping on the uh, tactical bandwagon as far as uh, good camping axe goes. And I've been comparing the lengths, the weights, the size of the head, the configuration of the head, um, just a number of different factors in. Uh, camping axes, uh, what, what a good one would be to take um, on a camping trip or uh, in your bug out bag um, just just a number of different practical uses for them and uh, some of them look really cool you know they don't look real functional but they look really cool like they are you know, pretty badass um, then others look uh, pretty cheap you can go buy a camping axe at Walmart for $6.99 it's got a cast iron head one glance below on it uh, with a split and maul or something like that, you're going to break that one in half. Trust me, I know I've done it. Um, you guys are looking at an S Wing uh, leather sportsman's axe. <clears throat> They're available in uh, 12 and 14 inch lengths um, with either a 3 and a quarter inch or a 2 and 3 quarter inch broad head. Uh, their weights are uh, the 14 inch sportman's 1.8 pounds and uh, the 12 inch is 1.2 pounds they all come with their leather sheath uh, which you can also put on your belt as you can see um, they've got a nice broad back head for nailing or driving stakes in the ground or anything like that and I like a camping axe that's got substantial weight to it uh, I've seen some camping axes that come in at like 12 ounces um, what good is that going to do? How many strokes are you going to have to swing to get through a two inch uh, tree limb? Quite a few. I, I want a camping axe that runs middle of the field. I don't want it to be too heavy. I don't want it to be too light. Um, there's a, another example of uh, uh, what a lot of people are using. Only this one uh, was made by my uncle. He was an accomplished blacksmith. That's uh, tomahawks. Um, this tomahawk was uh, something that my uncle carried when he would go on his little cowboy and Indian reenactments. Um, a lot of people are going towards you know the tomahawk types, the hatchets. Uh, let's see what are some of the other ones. Uh, the Smith & Wesson cut and horse bullseye hatchet. Um, I had one of those. Do not waste your money on it. Uh, not only is it not effective because of its weight, it's not effective because of how strong the curve is on it. Your cutting edge, when you're cutting in, you're only making contact with maybe an inch and a half, two inches of, of whatever you're trying to cut or split. Also, it's real thin, so you don't have any kind of a wedge uh, like you would with uh, this S-Wing Sportsman's Axe. As you can see, the way that the edge is designed, the way that the blade is designed, right there, it's in a wedge shape. So, if you've got this and you find your good heavy rock, you can split the kind of wood that you that you want to get for a good camping fire. Um, it's not intended to be used as a machete. It's not intended to go into thick brush. Uh, I've got a couple of machetes. They're generic, cheap machetes that uh, hold a decent edge. And I'm happy with them instead of going out and spending all the money on a cold steel or uh, you know, a Kershaw or a SOG or something like that. Um, other axes that uh, S-Wing has, they've got a camper's axe uh, that is eh, let's see how old, uh, 16 inches long. Uh, it weighs in at 2.9 pounds, almost 3 pounds. It's got a full 4 inch broad head on it, which is a nice size uh, for a camping axe. But it's you know, again, quite a bit of weight that you're having to carry around as opposed to uh, the leather sportsman's axe you know, that comes in at uh, the lower weight. Um, something else, uh, if you guys are actually going camping and a camping axe like this uh, doesn't give you a very long throw, doesn't let you get uh, a lot of head weight on it as you're swinging it. S-Wing also has a uh, camper's axe uh, with a long handle, 26 inches long, um, with a 4 inch broad head, which would be just like the, camper, the uh, short camper's axe at 16 inches, 2.9 pounds with a 4 inch broad head. Um, and 
it is the one that I use around my property uh, when I'm sitting at my log splitter it's the one that I've got when I'm splitting ash because if anybody who's ever split ash knows uh, it's got quite a bit of splintering uh, that goes on that you have to cut through so I've also got the uh, the 24 inch and it's obviously not going to fit into view but you guys can see here and it's a substantial axe um, to me it's you know, it's not like swinging a double bit that the head weighs six or seven pounds on, obviously. But uh, it definitely does a good job, gets the job done. Uh, there's another item that S-Wing has that I'm planning on getting. It's uh, called the Fireside Friend Splitting Tool. And what it is essentially is one side is a standard sledge. And then it's got a uh, two and three eighths inch uh, hatchet blade on the other end and weighing in at four pounds and the length of it is 14 inches so it's this length but you've got a four inch head or four pound head on it with a, a shorter throw here but it's awesome for splitting if you just want to take one or two wax and get a piece of wood split that's the way to go and I'm planning on getting one um, and I'll do a review on that when I get it it's not something that I would want to put in a bug out bag and carry with me that's why I've got this lighter one here um, but uh, my review is just kind of a generic one of, of my experiences and, and what I've uh, used and what I'm comfortable with. I'm comfortable with old world quality that is well established and that's right here. That's in the s -Wing brand. Very good, very strong, very sturdy. Um, all of my uh, construction hammers and sledges are S-Wing and my little framing hammer and my finish trim hammer I've had them since the 1980s and they're just as good today as they were back then you know we're talking 30 years ago 25 30 years ago um, you're going to substitute form for function uh, depending if you're more concerned with weight uh, than you are with uh, an item's ability if you don't mind taking 30 strokes at a piece of wood to get it cut in half instead of just taking 10 or 15 strokes with a good quality purpose-built hatchet then go for it but you know it, it's to each his own but I've like I say I've seen everybody jumping on the hatchet bandwagon and on the tomahawk bandwagon and uh, quite frankly stick with something that's established stick, stick with something that's been around for a lot of years uh, and that would be the S-Wing. That's just my opinion. And of course everybody's got their own. And uh, of course if you wanted to uh, make a, a little kindling hatchet, um, got one of those too. This one also was made by my uncle. And it's kind of neat. All it is, let me see here, it's kind of like for splitting um, kindling, like I say. And all it is is just a piece of flat steel that's been ground down to a decent edge and it's fairly long and this could also be used if you wanted to you, it could be used as a machete type to get through thicket and it's really light it's a good solid strong uh, hickory hand excuse me oak handle and it's got uh, two bolts going through it let me get them in the picture there there you go two bolts going through it and uh, if you want to call it full tang I, you know it, uh, it comes all the way to the, the steel comes all the way to the back of the handle and that'd be something real easy for somebody to make if they want to carry along something like that for just splitting or kindling up with um, but anyway I just wanted to give you guys a little insight uh, into my experiences and hope that you guys can uh, learn from my uh, my experiences with uh, different types of hunting axe or different types of uh, hatchets and, and tomahawks and whatnot um, I'm going to go through them again real quick, the S-Wings that are available. You have the Molded Camper's Axe, which is this one here. Rings in at 26 inches, or you can get the Molded Camper's Short Axe, which is 14 inches with the same head configuration. And then you've got uh, the Molded Fireside Friend Splitting Tool. That's that 14 inch long, uh, 4 pound splitting maul. And then you've got the Leather Sportsman's Axe available in two. 14 inch and 12 inch lengths uh, with their weights being respectively 1.8 pounds and 1.2 pounds and again they come with sheets I uh, hope you guys find this interesting I'm just sitting around the house being bored trying to come up with some things to do and thought I could do some uh, little generic reviews this is Zippo I'll talk to y'all later I'm out